my job title it encompasses a bit of everything, but mostly it's uh, head of lighting. I'm a glorified janitor. I work in a theatre and what I mostly do is work out the toilets, fix the toilets, make sure the toilets are working, make sure they're breaking, revamp the toilets, clean the toilets, fix the garbage, so get rid of the garbage, recycling and all that sort of crap, and the air conditioning. I do everything from start to finish, so liaising with groups, uh, shows, productions, companies that are coming through, interpreting their designs, setting it up and rigging it, programming and operating, and then of course packing the truck up and sending it off for its next venue. Theatre logic is a funny thing to wrap your head around, which is like left is right and right is left and up is down and down is up and a gridiron has nothing to do with football and a running crew gets you nowhere and a purchase line buys you nothing and a green room, thank God, normally isn't. It's all just smoke and mirrors and we just pedal really fast with no money. No machines are ground up plastic bags in a glorified bingo roller. Mirrorball fixes everything. On a big day, a spare change of socks. It'll bring you back if you're feeling tired, if you've got a big 14 hour shift. I think the trick is with theatre, is if the audience notices you're doing something with the stage or lighting or the set, then your play sucks. I have a rule of thumb, is the more sets and shit that comes off the track, the, the shit the production. Two guys that came from South Africa did Shakespeare, there, there was no set, they had one string as a clothesline, and it went off. All the stuff that goes around enhances it. But if you're relying on that to be the show, then you're in trouble. I studied an acting degree <laughs> at UOW and started lighting designing just a couple of times at uni and then worked out that I really liked it and that I was good at it. Do you talk to any tech, they're either a really good guitarist or a drummer or an actor or something. Got sucked into making an income because, yeah, you had to make an income either to feed yourself or the family or you just got hooked on the amount of money you're making and there's no money in doing the other thing. I didn't have to do this, I was doing music full time and I fed myself quite well, just doing music, just playing it, and writing it, doing CDs, teaching it a bit there. And also until I had a daughter I had to do this. And I've written 300 songs or 400 songs, I've been in 28 bands. I have a, a group full of lighting staff that are actors. We've got countless musicians, a lot of skill behind there, they don't know about. Being in this, I don't know whether I would have enjoyed the acting because I mean, I see it now and I see the back workings of it. It's a bit too pretentious for my liking. You know, there's this old guy, he grumbles, all he does is he, he picks up the elephant's shit and he just folds it around and he grumbles and he's always whinging, which is me. And someone asks him eventually, he says, well, you know, why don't you quit and get another job? And he says, what, quit show business?